Hi, I'm Matu. Welcome back to another episode of Matu Makes. I'm left-handed. Well, not really. I actually use many tools with my right hand, but I use pens and pencils with my left hand. And many pens don't work well when writing with your left hand. I recently found a pen that works perfectly well for me. The refill is pressurized and it's supposed to work even underwater, which I haven't tested yet, but I really should try that out. The pen is called Uniball Power Tank and I'm not paid by them or anything, I just think their pens work really great. I just don't like the pure plastic look that much. So I tried to put the refill into a different pen, but it's a little bit larger than other than most refills and it doesn't really fit well into other pens. So then I started thinking about making my own pen, maybe out of wood or something. Around the same time, I had a phone call with a friend who told me about cork bike handles. I really like cork as a material and I immediately wanted a pen out of cork. Let's see what we can do about this. I got some wine cork as that is already roughly in pen form. Of course one alone is too short so I use wood glue to fix three of them together. Let's let it dry for some hours. Wine cork is of course way too thick to be a pen, so my idea is to screw it onto an electric drill to evenly sand it down. But I quickly realized that that won't work. The right tool for the job would be a lathe, but I don't have such fancy tools. I may need to get or build a lathe soon. I decide to first drill through the cork to see whether that's possible without the cork completely crumbling. That actually works pretty well. Only a little bit crumbles away due to my impatience leading to too much stress on the material. I also realized that wood glue might not be perfect for cork. Eh, three pieces would have been too long anyway. The pen refill fits snugly into the drilled holes. To get a smaller diameter, I take out the belt sander. And after the sander pries away the pen from my hands a couple of times, I manage to sand it down nicely. And I get the feeling that once the pen refill is inside, the cork holds onto it so well that I don't even require glue. Once sanding is finished, it still needs a nicer tip. So I quickly design a tip that I can 3D print.
Et voilà, a pen from two wine corks. That went pretty quickly. So here we go, I made my first cork pen. I realized there's a lot of room for improvement, it could probably be a bit thinner, the tip cannot be retracted and the cork crumbled away a little bit, but my main objective with this build was to find out whether I could use cork in this way and I definitely succeeded with this. So stay tuned for future pen upgrades.